If you could please tell us your name and where are you from? Uh, I'm Anita from uh, Seattle, Auburn, Washington. And she's an intern here. <laughs> Um, Anita, can you please tell us, kind of, before you met Christ, how was your life? Um, I grew up in a Christian household, and I grew up with a lot of hate and anger in my heart, and a lot of fear and insecurities. And as I got older, the fear and the worry and everything, the stress, gave me bleeding stomach ulcers, and that made me get taken out of school. While I was taken out of school, I made some bad decisions and I started drinking alcohol and smoking drugs. During that time, I grew a hatred towards men that led to the spirit of homosexuality and pornography and masturbation. You mentioned that you had the supernatural experience that really allowed you to experience God. Can you share a little bit about that? <sighs> It happened at a, uh, it was at a party, and I was drinking, and I was taking shots, taking shots, and then out of nowhere at the last shot, I felt this, this dread, this like, that was like closing in, and I was really scared. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't get drunk. I can't dr get drunk. So I ran upstairs during the party to the upstairs bathroom, and I started to try to make myself to vomit because I didn't want to start getting hazy and drunk. I tried to vomit, I couldn't at all, and I started getting scared, and I was like, Lord, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be like this anymore. I don't wanna have all these insecurities. I don't wanna feel so like, like nothing, and have all this in my heart, all these things that go against me. I wanna be free. And then I started crying out to the Lord, and he filled me with a very, like this peace, just rested on me. Why don't we give God some praise for that? That's powerful, amen. And I got the, that peace went over me and then I started, I started praying and crying out to the Lord. And during that time, I started speaking in tons and crying out to him. And I fell asleep on the bathroom floor <laughs> at a party. Wow, praise God. God can encounter you anywhere you are, amen. You mentioned also something that you began to do um, after you had this experience. Can you share a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. uh, after that night, I completely, uh, I quit everything, uh, smoking, drugs, and alcohol, but I still struggled, struggled with uh, the spirit of homosexuality and pornography and masturbation. After the whole experience, I started searching for the Lord more. I started listening to sermons and podcasts, and I listened to a podcast by Pastor uh, Vlad, about filling yourself and becoming one with the Holy Spirit. He talked about how when you fill yourself with the Spirit, and he did the example that when you eat a lot at a dinner party, and you eat the first course, and you, you're super full, that when you see the sweets and all the, the bad stuff, that you're not even hungry for it anymore because you're so full. And after that, I started seeking more of the Holy Spirit and seeing him as a friend and as a person and after that, he, he changed my life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Um, so what are some things that, what are kind of the freedoms and the things that you've experienced now after that? How is your walk with the Lord now? I don't have any fear. I can go in front of you guys and talk before I wouldn't be able to. I'd run away from class because I just didn't want to talk in front and... I'm delivered from that, and I just feel this lightness and this, like, freedom and happiness and love for people that I never had before. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Um, lastly, what is some advice that you would give to anybody that is maybe in this room or watching online that is maybe struggling with something that you experienced in the past? When you go through trials and tribulations, they're there for a reason to get stronger and more in the Lord. Everything is there for a reason. And not to close yourself and be alone when you're going through struggles, but to go and be with the people that, that love you and to throw yourself into the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. You can take your seat. Thank you. Amen.
There is nothing, no circumstance, no situation that is impossible for God. And so if you're watching or you're hearing this today, today is the day of salvation. Just surrender to God and watch what he can do in your life. Amen.